And it's time for more Texas Chainsaw Massacre content. Now, before we get into the picture, make sure if you guys want to play and be involved in the technical test to go wishlist the game on Steam, follow the Texas Chainsaw Twitter, of course, and just make sure you are keeping a lookout because that is happening soon at some point. We don't know an exact date yet. So getting right into it, this one is again at the Slaughterhouse map. We got Leland messing with the fuse box while Anna is over here hiding in the bushes or shrubs. The quote being for this one, once victims find the fuse, they'll need to locate the fuse box that'll open one of the four exits on the map. So there are four total exits, each one having their own objectives and way to escape off the map very good detail around the slaughterhouse you can tell that the place has been kind of shut down for a long time no one has mowed the grass or tended to any of the vegetation around the area it's all overgrown gives off a very the last of us kind of vibe which i personally like uh, one cool thing i noticed that the devs seem to be doing just based off the screenshot is when you were down in a bush or in the shrubs in certain places uh, it looks like a shader is applied to the avatar of the character you're playing so you can see Anna is kind of shaded down darker to so you can't see her as easy when she's down in the weeds like that as opposed to just keeping the normal lighting on her which would have her pop and you just see her in there it applies a little bit of shade to her to keep her sort of camouflaged so the places that you can just dynamically hide in have an incentive for you to go in and actually use it as a hiding place that way a family member will miss you in certain moments and you can have those sort of close call experiences where you think the killer is looking at you but they keep going and you kind of shit your pants a little bit and you're like holy shit that just happened See, all those kinds of close call type of moments, those are the moments I'm looking forward to the most in this game, I think. I know that some of you have been asking questions about the stealth in the game. Does Leatherface's proximity warnings go away when his chainsaw is off and that kind of stuff like that so he can kind of reroute himself and come at you at a different angle? For a little bit of a surprise, that is one of the bigger questions I have myself. So with this screenshot, it looks like that they are prepping to open the exits. We are starting to head in the beginning stages of what would be the end parts of a match as they try to get an exit open and start attempting to head out. Now, I'm sure that there's a lot that they've left out that they're saving as a surprise that we just don't know about that happens in the middle of a match. We'll just have to wait and see what happens once we get hands on in the technical test. And that about wraps this one up. I'm really loving the detail around the maps. They look gorgeous. Everybody take care of yourselves. I'll see you later.